the 20-yard line. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. He'll buy some time right. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he'll take it to the 43-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger, eluding the pressure right. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Play action. Now Roethlisberger. They'll roll him out right. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Scrambling not particularly a Roethlisberger strong suit, but he does get the job done there and gets a first. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Trey Flowers, the former Arkansas Razorback, in there to get him. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Escaping the pressure right. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Powering his way forward. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 24-yard line. Flush to his right, and he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. He'll get just a yard on the scramble in second down. We're scoreless after one. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Now they'll throw it with Roethlisberger. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Flushed out. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And the Steelers normally have a good offensive line protecting Big Ben. They allowed just 14 sacks all of last year, the lowest total in the NFL. But in this one, they've given up. And the pressure gets to him again. Trey Flowers picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. And Boswell's kick is good. And the Steelers will jump out to The Steelers offense here about ready for their next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Roethlisberger to throw, eluding the... And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. 
So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Escaping the pressure right. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Now Ben on third and long. Being chased out left. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. That's going to go in the books as a 50. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Roethlisberger will throw. Buying time to his left. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. Flush to his right, and he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now it's Roethlisberger. Flushed out right. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. <laughs> to throw here, Roethlisberger. Dancing to his left. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Here's Roethlisberger. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Now Roethlisberger. Diluting the pressure, and he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Trey Flowers. Able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Throwing again on second down. Roethlisberger escaping the pressure right. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. Able to push his way through. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Here's Ben. Flush to his right. 
He's got Johnson. A gain of six there on first. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn into a big game. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Ben going to throw. Flushed it. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. The Steelers send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And how about this, a fake? And this is dropped. Oh, my goodness, there was no one around him, but he took his eye... So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. Rolling to his right. And that is incomplete. Johnson, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Roethlisberger. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, and that nearly ended it. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it, and that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. He's got a man complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And what is this? They're lining up here to punt on first.